Hi guys and welcome back to Macaroon. You might have seen clips like these before on Instagram and wondered how they were made. These were done using a green screen technique and in this video I'll show you how I created these aesthetic DIYs completely from scratch. I loved making this project because it combines physical crafting with digital editing to produce something that looks really unique. If you're new here, then a big welcome, and please subscribe to both of my channels and check out my Instagram account under my username Macaroon. I'll be uploading another video soon just on green screen slimes, so if you're following me, then you won't miss out. And now let's get started with the first DIY, which is this sparkly bunny squishy. First of all, I'm going to make a model using polymer clay. This can be any design you like, and I've linked all of my squishy videos down below, so be sure to check those out if you need any inspiration. Every time you attach two pieces of clay together, be sure to smooth out the gaps using a toothpick. This makes your piece look a bit more professional and also makes it easier to create the mold later on. Now I'm going to bake the clay for half an hour at 110 degrees Celsius or 230 degrees Fahrenheit. After your piece is cooled, it's time to make a mold using two parts silicone putty. Make a ball of putty that fits in your palm like this and press the clay inside using your other hand. Then gently compress it on all sides to pick up the details and place the mold flat on a table for the silicone to set. I find that this technique minimizes air bubbles and also prevents larger pieces from poking holes through the silicone. The result is a perfect mold like this. For the next step, we're going to make a green squishy. I'm using these inks which are designed to be compatible with Hitohata gel. I only have yellow and blue, so I'm going to mix my own green color. And now I'm going to create a batch of milky Hitohata gel. You're supposed to use 75% base resin and 25% hardener, though just to be safe, I'm going to use a tiny bit more hardener. Mix until both of these are completely combined and then add the green ink. These inks are pretty intense, so even a small amount is enough to add color to milky Hitohata gel. And of course, if you're using clear Hitohata gel, then you need even less pigment. Then pour the resin into the mold and leave it to set. I was pleasantly surprised that this actually cured without any problems within 24 hours. I really think they improved the formula of Hitohata gel because my past few squishy DIYs were all successful on the first attempt, which has never happened before. For the final step, I'm going to add some facial features using acrylic paint and glue. The trick to making a good green screen squishy is to have an easily recognizable body shape and lots of contrast in the face. Now I'm going to create some textures using random things from my office. I have an entire box of glitter here, so this is a good starting point. I decided to make a clear slime as well, because I find that slime enhances the shininess of glitter. This is a super basic recipe using clear glue, baking soda and contact lens solution. Some people might recognize this glitter from my 10 bottle slimes video. I really love the look of that, so I wanted to film another clip that's optimized as a green screen texture. To do this, I'm using a Canon macro lens, which you've seen from many of my videos. This picks up all the details and makes very basic things look amazing. Instead of playing with the slime, I simply want to move it slightly to accentuate the sparkliness. 
Too much movement will get confusing because the green screen only picks up a tiny portion of the entire shot. For this reason, I also have to keep my fingers out of the way because I don't want a small corner of it appearing by accident later on. Now comes the digital magic. I've imported the green squishy clip into Final Cut Pro and pulled it onto my timeline. Then I'm selecting the glitter texture clip and placing it below this one. And now I'm going to apply this effect called Keyer onto the squishy clip. Keying basically turns all the green areas transparent so you can see the second clip underneath. In our case, the green bunny turns transparent to reveal the glittery slime below. And that's all there is to this method. You only need to have something green and something textured to create some really cool effects. For the next DIY, I'm going to try a shower jelly. I know this one isn't going to look that realistic because the green is fairly transparent. However, I was still quite impressed by the results. So here's the original clip with green color on all the areas that will be keyed later on. To create the texture, I'm going to use multi-chrome glitter flakes mixed into clear slime. In this case, there was only a fairly short bit of the glitter mixing that looked good, so I simply copy and pasted this segment to create a longer texture that fills up the entire jelly cutting part. As you can see, it's almost impossible to spot a repeated texture because there's so much happening on the layer above it. So the final result still looks super satisfying. Last but not least, we have a rainbow slime. There was a viral clip of this a few years ago on Instagram, and that's what first inspired me to do something with green screens. First of all, we need a green slime, and I'm going to make a super easy one using glue, baking soda, and contact lens solution. Be sure to add food coloring before the slime activator, because it's much easier to mix color into unactivated glue. I had to use quite a lot before getting this bright green shade. And then I simply filmed myself playing with the green slime. To make the rainbow texture, I'm actually using this knife. I shot a super close-up of the blade and I deliberately kept it out of focus so the colors would blend together. I also overexposed the clip a bit to make the colors more pastel -y, which reminds me of that viral Instagram clip. And just like before, I simply combined both layers using the keyer effect to create this wonderfully aesthetic rainbow slime. I also filmed another texture using Swarovski crystals and origami paper, so here's how that one turned out. I find that smaller or more abstract textures tend to work very well, so I really want to repeat this video using more designs. I'll be making a follow-up video soon, so be sure to subscribe to both of my channels so you don't miss out. I'm Joanna, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye!